हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन सेट थियोरी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर सेट ऑपरेशन नोन एज सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस सो फर्स्ट वी डिफाइन व्हाट इज सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस एंड देन वी विल सी इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज सो सपोज ए एंड बी आर एनी टू सेट्स देन सिमेट्रिक डिफरेंस ऑफ ए एंड बी इज दिस सेट कंटेनिंग दोज एलिमेंट्स which are either in a or in b but not in both a and b uh, for example suppose i have a equal to 1 to 5 and say b equal to 2 4 7 then symmetric difference of a and b is this set containing those elements which are either in a or in b so we will write down elements of a and b and uh, we will ignore those elements which are present in a and b both so first we start with the elements of a uh, we start with 1 and we check whether 1 is present in b or not so 1 is not present in b so we consider 1 then we concentrate on 2 so 2 is present in both so we will not consider 2 then 5 5 is present in a but it is not present in b then here 2 is already discussed now 4 and 7 both are absent in a so this is this set which is symmetric difference of these two sets a and b so the symmetric difference of a and b is this set of those elements which are either in a or in b but which are not in both the sets and this is the notation for symmetric difference it is denoted by a plus b or sometimes by uh, plus inside the circle so we are considering on the those elements which are either in a or in b so we can symbolically write a plus b as union of a minus b and b minus a union of difference of a and b and difference of b and a suppose we want to find out symmetric difference of these two sets using this formula then we first consider a equal to first set say b equal to 1 2 3 3 so first we find out a minus b so a minus b means those elements of a which are not present in b so we start with 1 one is present in a and it is present in b also so we will not consider one similarly three is present in a three is present in b also so three is not there five is present in a and it is absent in b so we consider five so this is the difference of a and b now we take difference of b and a so difference of b and a means we consider those elements of b which are not present in a so one is first we start with one so one is present in b as well as in a so we will not consider one two is present in b and two is absent in a so two will be there now we check for three so three is present in a and b both so we have only one element in b minus a now a plus b that is symmetric difference is nothing but union of these two sets so that is now a plus b is union of a minus b and b minus a a minus b is this set and union of these two sets is 2 5 so if we uh, don't want to find out a minus b and b minus a uh, we can simply consider a plus b equal to uh, we will consider those elements which are either in a or in b and we will ignore those elements which are present in both the sets so first we consider the elements which are present in both the sets so 3 is present in both the sets 1 is present in both the sets and 2 5 is present in only a and 2 is present in only b 
so this is the symmetric difference so if we don't want to go in this way we can directly write down symmetric difference as this set of those elements which are either in a or in b but we will not consider the elements which are in the intersection of these two sets that is we will ignore those elements which are common to both the sets so here 1 and 3 are common 1 is there in both the sets 3 is there in both the sets and 2 and 5 5 is present in a and 2 is present in b so a plus b is this set containing these two elements only so in this way we can easily decide the symmetric difference of given two sets so we will discuss some properties of symmetric difference first property is commutative property that is a plus b and b plus a are always equal associative property is also satisfied by symmetric difference if we take a plus in the bracket b plus c and here if we consider difference symmetric difference of a plus b and then plus c both are equal so associative property is satisfied this is associative property for symmetric difference and this is commutative property for symmetric difference if we consider symmetric difference with empty set for any set a then we get our set a back because a plus 5 means we have to consider those elements which are either in a or in 5 but we know that there is no element in 5 so we have whole set a a plus a equal to 5 because here both the sets are equal so there is no element uh, which is either in a or it is in a that is if we consider the elements which are present in one set and absent in another set then there are no elements here because both the sets are same so symmetric difference of a set with itself has no elements that is empty set uh, we can write symmetric difference in this way also a plus b equal to union of a intersection b complement and b intersection a complement so we can try to prove some of these properties suppose we try to prove first one a plus b equal to b plus a so i have to show that both these sets are subsets of each other so first we show that a plus b is subset of b plus a and then we show that b plus a is subset of a plus b so we start with any element in a plus b now a plus b is by the definition union of a minus b and b minus a but we know that property of union uh, sorry but we know that union satisfies commutative property so uh, here we can interchange a minus b and b minus a so this i can re rewrite as b minus a union a minus b here i am using the commutative property for union operation now this is nothing but b plus a so a plus b is subset of b plus a similarly we can go in reverse direction if we take x in b plus a then x is in the union of b minus a and a minus b again using commutative property this we can rewrite as this so this implies this statement this is nothing but a plus b so because we have double implies we can say that a plus b and b plus a are always equal Similarly, we can show that symmetric difference of a set A with empty set is set A itself. So, we go by definition A plus phi is union of A minus phi and phi minus A. Now, A minus phi means those elements X which are in A and which are not in empty set. And we know that there is no element in empty set. So, this is nothing but elements of a and which is set a itself 
and phi minus a equal to we consider those elements which are in empty set but which are not in set a but we know that there is no element in this uh, in the empty set so this set is also empty now we put this here a minus phi is a union phi then union of a set with empty set is set itself okay, that we have written here therefore a plus phi equal to okay, this we have written here a union phi equal to a in the last uh, lecture we have seen this property that difference of two sets can be written as a intersection b complement so using this property we can write uh, this uh, another formula for symmetric difference we know that a minus b equal to a intersection b complement therefore b minus a equal to b intersection a complement now symmetric difference of a plus b is union of a minus b and b minus a so we put this here and we obtain another formula for symmetric difference a plus b equal to a intersection b complement union b intersection a complement so similarly uh, we can prove remaining properties so we are not going for other properties we do this simple exercise we are given three sets set a has three elements two three four b has two elements c has three elements four five six and we are asked to find out these symmetric differences so we find out one by one so we will use the definition if i have two sets a and b then symmetric difference of a and b is this set containing the elements which are present in either a or in b and not in both so we will ignore the elements which are present in both the sets or which are common to both the sets so first we find out a plus b so uh, we have first we start with the elements of a so 2 is present in a as well as in b so we will not write 2 3 is present in a but absent in b so 3 is there 4 is present in a and absent in b so we consider 4 1 is also present in b and absent in a so we consider uh, these three elements only and uh, we have ignored this element 2 because it is present in a and b both and uh, we have three elements 3 4 1 which we can rewrite as 1 3 4 there is no compulsion that you should write in the order but this will look nice so this is symmetric difference of a and b now we write symmetric difference of b and c so first we start with elements of b so 1 is present in b and absent in c so we consider 1 similarly 2 is present in b and absent in c and uh, c has three elements 4 5 6 which are not present in b so we consider all the elements of C also so here there is no element common to sets B and C so B plus C is nothing but union of B and C 1 2 4 5 6 next set is A plus B plus C so here uh, either we can consider in this way because we know that associative property is satisfied or we can consider a plus b plus c suppose we consider a plus b plus c then we concentrate on these two sets a plus b and c or we can write here a plus b is 1 3 4 
and set C is four five six. So we first we can find out the elements which are common. So four is common to both the sets, and there is no element which is common to both the sets. So now we write down the elements which are either in one set or in another set. So we have one three five six. And if we wish, we can go in this way also. We can find out a plus b plus c by considering b plus c and a. So first we write down what is set a. Set a is set containing three elements two, three, four. A is set containing two, three, four, and B plus C is one, two, four, five, six. So first we consider the elements which are common to both the sets. Two is common here. Three is not common. Four is common. And we write down remaining elements. So three, uh, one is there. And five and six. So we can see because associative property is satisfied, we have either we consider in this way or in this way. We must have same sets because symmetric difference satisfies associative property. So that we can observe for this particular sets also. These three sets satisfy associative property. But associative property is satisfied for any three sets, A, B, and C. And the next set is symmetric difference of A plus B and B plus C. So we already have A plus B and B plus C. So we find out their symmetric difference. A plus B plus B plus C. So first we write down what is A plus B. It is set containing one, three, four. And the set B plus C is set containing one, two, four, five, six. So now we consider the elements which are common to both the sets. One is common, three is present in this set but absent here and 4 is common so now remaining elements are first we write 2 then 3 2 3 and 5 and 6 and we ignore 1 which is common to both the sets 4 which is common to both the sets we write 3 5 and 6 and 2 so this is the symmetric difference of a plus b and b plus c so in this way we can decide this symmetric difference of any two sets uh, we can use any of these two notations and we will remember that symmetric difference of any two sets is the set containing elements which are either present in a or in b so these are the different formulas a minus b union b minus a or a intersection b complement union b intersection a complement so this is all about today's session i hope you like it thank you very much